Let's play the medium. Oh man, that, I don't, I don't, I, I, I would have put a, a bizarro cigarette in her hands because that's, that looks awkward. Hello and welcome back to Hula Noob playing the medium. Uh, Hula Noob, that's me. I usually don't talk about myself in the third person. This is just for the intro, okay? So <laughs> we've just been through um, a very harrowing more level that was also incredibly embarrassing for me because I couldn't figure out the puzzle had to look it up did finally finish it and I died a thousand times hey so now we're in the bunker and we're probably about to meet Thomas um, and have the conversation that was like featured in cutscenes all throughout the game I think we're closing in on the ending like I have I have a certain I have a certain feeling about that so we'll see whether I'm right or not. You know whether this will be the last episode or not. <clears throat> Here's what I know. I think I know. The powers come from the same place, but they can manifest in different ways. She seems to exist in both places, as if her mind can inhabit two bodies at the same time. To her, whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they one and the same? New hypothesis. Death thins out the veil between worlds, so that a newborn mind never has to split. Makes sense in a weird, fucked up way. So, as a kid, you basically navigate yourself through both worlds, if you have the, the gift. If, it, if it's a gift, it's more like a curse, I guess. Um, and I guess he's talking about Lillianne. Uh, or he's talking about Marianne, I don't know. Because newborn, I mean, Marianne was the younger one of the two sisters. Um, and I, I mean, it seems to be about Marianne because that's what happened with her and what we experienced with uh, Netherworld Marianne. You know, that we can, we do stuff and stuff in the Netherworld and stuff happens in the real world. Hey, I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Nothing? Okay. <coughs> oh, that looks beautiful, by the way. I would totally buy that. Anything else? No. Oh, that cable does not look good. Bluer team. Like, that's not... That's a flat cable. Okay. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Vitamins, antibiotics, neuroleptics, antidepressants. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. I mean, in a bunker, I feel like a well-rounded collection of medicine is a good idea. You know, you don't necessarily have to take them all at once, or, or shouldn't. Don't do this to me. Burnt to a crisp. Guess I should look for a spare. Ah, but I I think that's part of the that's bound to. Ha oh God, dark light. It's the mall bag. Oh Jesus Christ, people! Can you can you just give me a mall break? Like it's the exact opposite of what Brittany said. Don't give me more, give me more. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. Huh. That looks busted open. <sighs> From the inside. That was the mall, right? That's, I mean, how as a human being you possibly can do this. There we go. Oh yes. Okay, she said oh yes, but the subtitle said oh yes. This was definitely Lily's place. Where he kept her. Oh yeah, and where Francis knew that she was kept. 
salt. Who knew it was that simple? A bit of alchemy, some spiritual infusion, and there you have it. Looks like the folk tales were true after all. Oh yeah, that's why there was a salt circle in Thomas's office around the desk. Anyway, the room is ready and it works. It actually works for the first time in my life. I can feel alone. It feels fucking wonderful. Or it's to get rid of Thomas? Oh my god. Or are these letters constantly talking about Lily? Not about her. Maybe that... No, is... is did Lily write this and not Thomas? Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. Yeah, also, like, these are not... I mean, the blue one looks very pretty. The green one is a disaster. The, the brownish dark green one, that's okay. But the blue one, that's a no-go. And it's not enough, like, if you want to get all fancy for fashion shows <sighs> no she'd be a grown woman by now but the room is still all dolls and unicorns gotta love how sinister the tapestry is yeah give me all the cartoon animals with red glowing eyes anything here no little windows into the world it's the last Missouri. Oh. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. The last Missouri and summer. The portrait of my love. Black rose. Okay. Oh, that's a nice tea glass. Again with the salt. The whole room is lined with it. I mean, maybe she did that herself or Thomas to get rid of, I think, in a way, to get rid of them all. I don't think he wanted to get rid of Imagine Pizarro Thomas. Imagine being locked up in this place, having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. You didn't deserve this, Lily. Sodium chloride, isn't that also salt? So that was injected, so she would be basically, you know, part of the salt, sh like she would be literally the salt circle. Also with the butterflies, I mean, it's kind of interesting because um, Marianne is also all about butterflies. I think there will be there will be a certain twist surrounding Marianne's and Lily Ann's connection. Oh, Jesus Christ. People. Okay. much power okay so i can only open a few things at a time oh no nope ah okay so that was just a brute forcing <laughs> puzzle nice to call <laughs> very uh minimalist so the the mirror is broken which i think is by design i mean from the person who ever lives here and that's the kitchen where we set so we will find someone here at some point it's quiet now just me and her just me and her it feels strange but in a good way how sh it should be i best enjoy it while it lasts already started moving the workshop over to the hotel if anything happens, I don't want her anywhere near it. I'm going in soon to get him back. This only ends in one of two ways. Either both of us are coming back or neither. Is this by Thomas about... About Bizarro Thomas? Huh. Mold. It looks pretty fresh. Someone's been here recently. 
But what is it? It's bread and what's the rest? Ooh. Also someone smoked. Hmm. If I find enough pieces, I might be able to get to the other side. Better get to it, Alice. Who the hell is Al oh Alice in Wonderland through the mirror? Okay. <laughs> um Okay. Plus one. So far so good. Okay. This looks like at some point we'll we'll go through this small thingy. Oh Jesus. Okay, let's see what the other rooms have to offer. This looks kinda cozy, like yeah. I could you know another one. During the pandemic, I could imagine living here. Oh, look. Why? What's... Oh. Why is the music getting louder if I go away from the radio? Oh, really? I could live here. This is so Looks spacious. Like he never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. Modern architecture, classic architecture. Okay. Um. I will just go and turn off the radio. Don't want to get any um, copyright troubles. I mean, I, I don't monetize my videos. Like, I have three followers. I don't need to monetize. Like, I can't. I literally can't monetize anything, I think. <laughs> but still, it makes me nervous whenever there's a notification. She almost saw me today sensed me i should have known i need to be more careful keep my distance it's just that i just not a day goes by that i don't think of her i know i did the right thing leaving her at the hospital it's better this way she's better this way but i keep thinking of that day when it finally happens when she discovers what she really is she'll be confused afraid i should be there for her to help her make sense of it all to tell her it's all right no She'll make it through. She's strong, just like her mother. I almost saw her today. Oh, so... The, no, she's almost saw me. Tensed me. Maybe in the netherworld? This is fooled by randomness. Mm -hmm. This is so weird. The last goodbye. Don't. <gasps> so, Jack. Jack wrote him and was like don't you dare contact her you have nothing to say to that really marianne like your adoptive father apparently sent your real father a message saying don't you have nothing Should to say enough. to that let's make magic happen i don't know whether i would call it magic it's more like This terror let's make thomas's workspace I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? Hypothesis. When experiencing trauma, the soul can split into two separate entities in order to deal with them, mitigate the damage. Observation. The entities can remain friendly, agreeable, or turn hostile towards each other. How to destroy one without destroying the other? So maybe the Maw is Bizarro Thomas because... 
the mob was telling Marianne that Lily was that it was all no the mob was telling Lily that it was all Marianne's fault you know that the mother died but also that Lily was basically on the sidelines which of course wasn't really happening but still you know I think she felt like that so but it wasn't just her that was on the sidelines but also Bizarro Thomas because real Thomas didn't want to use his um, Netherland Bizarro version with his kids because it was too unsafe so maybe Bizarro Thomas because we know he's kind of a douche and we know he's very powerful maybe Bizarro Thomas turned into this monster and that's why he could connect to L Lily because he basically was her Bizarro father <laughs> and talk to her and be like her friend maybe maybe I don't know and and Thomas wanted to g get him back in the way that he wanted to get his old self back and not the angry horrifying monster that Bizarro Thomas had turned into that would be my interpretation Like, needlessly complicated scene cuts. Okay, that's this one. That's this one. That's this one. And there it was. The moment we finally met. Spend years in Henry's fucked up world. Oh, ah. When you. When you sent him away, I could. I could finally break free. Oh, is that a good thing? Maybe not? That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Hmm. Where is he? Where is my father? I, I don't know. Ah, bada bing, bada boom. That's what we've seen in the cutscenes before. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, come on. They couldn't even do, like, Netherland cigarettes. Oh, this is silly. Like, look at that. It's ridiculous. It the dead girl. Oh, man. That w I don't... I don't... I... I I would have put a, a bizarro cigarette in her hands because that's that looks awkward. Look at that! Oh Jesus! <laughs> what about Lily? Did my father? No, he couldn't have. He wouldn't. Her too much. Both of you. <laughs> so, what happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. Keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. It's the only place he could feel. Separated from his powers. From me. Came in handy once Lily became unstable. Unstable. What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marianne. A powerful one. I guess it runs in the family. When Richard... When Richard hurt her... It awoke. Something inside her. Something... Something terrible. And it was only a matter of time before it got out. It's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. Oh! You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? You know where. No. <laughs> I don't. It's coming. Time for you to How can she be alive? I'll hold it off for as long as I can. I'm not You've leaving seen... you. Daddy. You can't only save everyone, butterfly. Trust me. What's that in the in the in the in the in the reflection of the puddle? What was that? Didn't like it.
Make your way to the lake. Ugh. So, did he just yeet me out of the bunker? <laughs> How did he do that? He's just a ghosty. And how powerful is Tom is? And why can't he defeat them all if he's that powerful that he can This is it. The place from my dream. I've walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time something is different. Is that the path where the little girl ran? Because otherwise it wasn't really mentioned before. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Also, I can't run. Don't know why I pushed the button. Um, yeah, I think that's the path to the lake of the dream that she had. Weren't there always uh, also lights? We don't see that. I would have added that because, uh, uh, like this, it's not really recognizable. I can feel it. Oh, there they are. Watching a let's play with me truly is like, you know, watching a movie with the annoying friend that just doesn't shut up. So I guess my target group is a very niche group because I think there's very few people that enjoy that. <laughs> Man, that song is like your vision beauty. Will she be a monster when she turns I'm around? Wounded. That hair looks really bad. Lilia. I've been waiting for you, little sister. Lily, I... I didn't know. I couldn't remember. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was better that way. At least you had a life for a while. Lily, yeah. that day, that day when the fire broke out at our house, I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? <gasps> the moss. So why? To save you. It helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour, to destroy. To kill. An even massacre. Yes. All those people died so that we could live. And because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. 
Instead, he locked me away. But he only delayed the inevitable. Monster, it got out. And now you're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts, but also his fate and the dream. The dream? But all I see is a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. It's not the past you see. The dream. what I want to happen. What? It all ends in me. But... No! No! no. You can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why you couldn't destroy the monster. That's why Sadness didn't want to go. But... You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. I... I'm not strong enough. It... It won't let me. Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. Liliana, I can't. Please, don't make I'm me sorry. do this. It's the only way to destroy it. To prevent further bloodshed. Lily? Uh, oh! Marianne? What's going on? Skin suit. Now to Constructing. Outgrown. Don't need her. Cameron. There is another way. Marianne. No! What is she doing? It's just a fucking thing. That's what you said. I'm your only chance. Aren't I? You need a medium strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne, please, I don't want this. Maybe Mrs. it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. No! Stop do this! Please, sister, set me free. No! Stay back! Stay back! I mean, she doesn't really free Lillianne if she kills herself, because Lillianne will still be stuck with the mall, right? You can't only save her dream, but a fly. It's not a choice of two endings. It didn't do anything, by the way. I thought I, I had to, but... Well, no. It all starts with a dead girl. Like, achievement unlock can always save everyone. Oh, so I can be like, this happened. So, I mean, logically, um, also, I don't know, this was kind of a <laughs> end 
a climactic ending. Um, logically, she had to kill Lillian because killing herself would just continue Lillian's um, pain, you know, and suffering because she would still be stuck with the Maw. The Maw would still try to get out and Lillian could still not escape. Like, if killing herself would result in Lillian being freed of the Maw, then that would be another issue and then there would be, you know, it would be an actual question of what to do. But, um, that's really not the case because it was very heavily implied that the mall would just be like oh man i don't have the medium i need to get out so i'll be stuck with you lillian again you know so i think from my point of view i think i would have killed lillian just to free her you know that was a weird ending like where was the <laughs> this was such a weird ending what the what so I guess the last boss fight was the one in the bunker. And that was it? Yeah, do you see that also? The mall is voiced by Troy Baker. <laughs> I read that a few times. And also Vincent Lai read as Henry. So that was the voice that I was really drawn to. It was very good. <laughs> and very good voice reading as well. So not just me thirsting for the caramel voice, but also it was a good voice reading. I think Henry actually was an interesting character through the voice work i think through the writing it was a bit so so um but yeah when i read that troy baker was voicing the maw i lost it i was just like oh my god it was one of those weird things where you're like what you didn't do you do not expect that but i was always also like i mean of course <laughs> that's the kind of stuff he would do and he, he i think he did a, an amazing job i mean uh, they obviously worked a bit with, you know, um, electric magic, like sound design magic for the Maw voice. But I still think that um, Troy Baker's interpretation of the Maw is just absolutely fantastic. And I think a big part why the Maw felt like a really creepy villain with their own motivation, you know. So yeah, um, hmm... I mean, it's it's always difficult to review a game right after the ending because sometimes it's the same with movies. Jesus, and the music is so loud. <laughs> because you always need a little bit of a time to think it over um, and, you know, step back and then look at it as a whole. I'd say... I'm a little bit disappointed with the story, I gotta say. I, I was... Th I... I when at the beginning it was hinted at some weird experimental conspiracy I was really excited because I thought it's a good idea to take this um, a little bit like Stranger Things thing where so I get a bit I'm, I'm burpy sorry where you have like science intersect with the occult you know which is the thing the Nazis did um, and it's like a fascinating concept for horror in general when you when you you know mesh these two things up it's a very good concept for her and i thought it would be really interesting to see i thought it would actually have an angle like architecture to conjure up ways to open up um different dimensions and rea realities which has i think more of a clive barker vibe because he really you know, works with those ideas as well. So I was a little bit disappointed that it then went the usual route of um, just being a medium, have a contact to, uh, you know, ghosties and stuff like that. And that's it. And I think the ending... I don't know. I'm not really happy. It felt like a few of those more encounters. Also the Henry encounter where it was like, well... You know, it's not really. It's anticlimactic. There's at the end, it's there's nothing really. You don't feel like it's a big achievement. I know that uh, you know leaving open who was shot. That's actually smart, and I like that. But in general, like where the heck is is Thomas? Do they really want to this to be um, a? It, 
like a first part of a series because otherwise that ending doesn't make sense. Like where the heck is Thomas? <laughs> is there an outro? Oh, there's an outro. Oh Jesus. So there I was talking 20 minutes long. <laughs> it's setting up a sequel. I feel it in my bones. In my skin suit bones. That's Thomas's watch. Oh, so we'll find out what happened to Thomas. But he's caught in Netherworld. <gasps> now that is interesting. Because how? How in the world can he do that? Yeah, so they showed us where Thomas is. And they, I think they set up the game for a sequel. Look, Bloober Team. You know, I criticized a lot about this game. But I also enjoyed it a lot. But I also will tell you right now. If you develop a sequel, I will buy it. I will play it. I will enjoy it. I mean, I, I hopefully will enjoy it. You know. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this. Um, you can like this video. You can comment. What did you think of the game? Are you happy with how the story went? Um, did you like... Did, did you like the ending? And what's your theory on the ending? I told you my theory. So now tell me, your, tell me yours. You know, I, sh I show you mine. You show me yours. Um, yeah, what's your impression of the game? What's your what's your theory on the ending? I think that are the main, the main uh, <laughs> things we can discuss in the comments. And um, also you can subscribe to my channel. Because I, I do I do play quite a few horror games. I play indie horror games, but I also like to play the occasional bigger one. I also play mystery games, like adventure mystery games um, that are very heavily story based, you know. Um, and sometimes I play cutesy little puzzle adventure games. So that's basically, that's my channel. That's all there is. But, you know, there's enough room um, for you to be part of this. And I welcome you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful day. And um, maybe see you soon. Ooh. No, that's, I'm still trying an outro, people. And uh, I'm still on the lookout for it. So if you have a suggestion, put it in the comments. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.